Hey guys, it's Shannon from That DIY Couple. Okay, have you ever been curious about your poop, but been too afraid to ask? Like, I've often found myself wondering, is this normal? <laughs> should I, what should, like how often should one poop? What should your poop look like? Should it sink? Should it swim? Should it be a particular color or consistency or shape? These are questions that I have often had and I've done like various Googles and you know, it's kind of hard to, there seems to be a different opinion for, for different things. Um, and I've never really had it kind of like explained to me in, an, in a generally cohesive way. I do know that lots of people, like lots of, science suggests that the health begins in the gut and that how often we go can be a good sign of you know how healthy we are so i hadn't really had anything explained to me in a cohesive way until i read this book so i got this book at my library it's called cleanse your body clear your mind it's by a doctor named jeffrey morrison and i thought it was great because it had this just like one or two paragraphs just breaking down exactly what everyone always wanted to know about poop but was too afraid to ask. So I'm going to share with you guys some of the insights that I have learned in the course of reading this book. And I've also done a couple of drawings for you guys. So let's start with your first question. What does a healthy poop look like? So, according to this doctor, you want to be going about two to three times a day. That's a lot. And there are some doctors who will tell you that once a week is normal, but it's not. When you're eating a healthy, whole food, unprocessed, plant-based diet with a lot of fiber, which is what the scientific le literature is increasingly suggesting is a key to vitality, um, you should be going pretty often. So it should be brown and it should be about the width of a sausage. I found this guidance to be somewhat ambiguous because like, what are we talking here? Are we talking like a huge sausage? Are we talking like Frank's? Like, but you guys know what I mean. I think it's like probably should be about that big. And this was interesting. It should be either S shaped or banana shaped. So Here's what the healthy poop should look like, you guys. S or banana. Alright. So, I assume that the S is because it's like part of your intestinal tract. Your intestinal tract bends, and so that makes sense. Alright, so what does unhealthy poop look like? Alright, so... If your dew is green, verde, um, you might be dumping bile into your waste instead of absorbing it properly. Properly, So watch out for green poop. So if your poop is thin, exhibit C, you might have an imbalance of bacteria or you're not getting enough fiber. Fiber is gonna bulk up your stool and help things pass through your body. So, if you see little chunks of food in there, it might be moving too fast through your system. So, you might have some issue with intestinal transit. Do you guys remember Fat Bastard? from Austin Powers, have you left a floater? So when you leave a floater, you probably are having some sort of issue with fat absorption. So there might be a lot of fat you know, in your diet. Um, I didn't realize that that was not healthy, but I guess fat bastard wasn't exactly like the ideal standard of health. So one of the things that's been really interesting to me since I changed my diet for the better and have lost a lot of weight. Is you guys have that expression like, she's so cool, she think her shit don't stink? 
like mine actually doesn't anymore. It used to, but it doesn't anymore. Like I go so regularly, it's like a joy. It's like one and done. Like I, I go like two, two times a day usually, sometimes three, but it's like no issue, no time on the toilet, just like comes and it goes. Um, and it's always like this like perfect log, just like a joy to behold. But what's really interesting, and I didn't realize this until I spent some time with um, people who are still a little bit unhealthy, that like I went into the bathroom after one of them and I was like, whoo, it's been a while since I've smelled this. Because um, if you have smelly duties, um, or like gas or bloating, you might have a bacterial imbalance, intestinal yeast, or sensitivity or formation of food happening in your gut. So because I'm eating so much fiber and stuff is kind of like going through me quickly at this point, that's not really happening. And yeah, your food, you, when you go, it shouldn't smell bad. All right. Have you guys, have you guys ever seen this? Like a, like the, like the rabbit, the rabbit size poop? If it's rock solid and it sinks, um, that might be an issue with your liver detox. All right. Another issue with your liver, not going. So if you're chronically um, fit, like constipated and not going, um, it might be an issue of an overworked liver. So this is interesting to me because when I was overweight, I was actually constipated a lot. And I actually had fatty liver at some point. So I wonder if those two are correlated. I also have the rabbit, I used to have the rabbit poops too. No more. No more. It's beautiful logs from here on out. So, if you've ever had diarrhea, which we've all been there, it's a sign that your intestines are inflamed. Um, so this is one to be really careful of. If your poop is black, it might be a sign of upper intestinal bleeding. So, watch out for black poop. It shouldn't be black. Go to the doctor. Um, and if it's red, lower intestinal bleeding or hemorrhoids. Sometimes your poop might be red if you've had beets recently. So don't, don't necessarily freak out. If it's red, consider have you had beets pretty recently. But if it's consistently red and you haven't had beets, it's time to go to the doctor. So that's it, you guys. I just wanted to share with you a couple of things that I learned about our stool. And your health is really your wealth. So, you know, health is a journey and... As you learn more and more about it, um, you become interested in things like these. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please click subscribe. We make videos all about becoming the best versions of ourselves. And until next time, do well and always make things better. Thanks guys.